How do we repent of our sins? What does it look like? How do I know that I've actually done that? Let's answer these questions in this video. The word repentance very simply means to change your mind. It's not all it is, um, but it is at the heart of what the concept of repentance is. It is a changing of one's mind, which will result in a changing of one's life. So the, the mind changes, and, the, and it's always accompanied with faith. Faith. Think about that. Believing, trusting in Jesus. Faith and repentance as it regards, you know, turning from sin, repenting from sin, however you explain that. It's always accompanied with faith. That seems to be not just the evidence of inward faith in Jesus, is that you recognize your own sinfulness and you change your mind about that and you change your mind about Jesus, metanoia. But also, I don't believe you can have true biblical repentance without faith and vice versa. They're two sides of the same coin. So to, to repent means I am changing my mind about my own sinful condition and my need for Jesus and my, I believe in the gospel and his life, death, and resurrection as the only way to get into the kingdom of heaven and, and find my way back to the Father through the Son. Jesus is the only way. I'm changing my mind about what I previously thought about my own sin and my own, you know, uh, moral righteousness and my own need for Jesus, and now I, I see that I need Jesus. So how do you repent? I would say that you just change your mind about your sinfulness and you trust in Jesus for salvation. Just like you would, if you trusted, you took me at my word and I said, hey, I'm going to give you this gift. Um, just come to this party, you know. I'm inviting you to a party where I'm going to give you a gift. It's such a weird illustration, but go with me. Anyone who comes to this party, I'm going to give you this gift. And you're like, whoa, really? That seems like an extravagant gift. It seems out of the ordinary. Seems even a little ludicrous. <laughs> Are you sure you're going to give everyone that comes to your party that gift? You can take me at my word or you cannot. You might wrestle with that a bit and go, I don't think that's actually going to happen. But then maybe you reach a point where it's the day before the party and you go, actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to go to the party. And receive the gift that he said he'd give me. I believe he's actually going to do it. The proof that you believe is that you show up. The same with faith. The proof that you believe is going to be a life that changes over time. A heart that changes. A, a convictions that change. Desires that change. Per your belief in Jesus. And the changing of your mind. So you change your mind. About what you previously thought about your own sinfulness. And your need for Jesus. This is what people do all the time in the in the world they go you know what i don't believe in god and then guess what for some reason something happens in their life where they change their mind they actually go you know what i do need christ i am a sinner i am separated from god he is the only way to be righteous there's no other way into the kingdom of god so i'm going to trust in him to grant me access and make me righteous so you can get into all the I don't know. People want to know like the psychological mental ascent. Explain the logistics. How do I make my mind get to that place? I don't know the logistics of all that. I just know the, the point of repenting, the definition of repenting is to change your mind, which involves a turning away from sin. You're saying, I don't like that. That separates me from God. I need to be forgiven of that. God, forgive me. And then from that place, someone says, being transformed by the, someone says, wouldn't that be considered a renewed mind? I would say that um, you're changing your mind and then over time, your mind does become more and more renewed. But it does start with your decision to believe. This is where I part ways with many Christians who see uh, humanity as kind of locked under this inability to actually believe without God's divine intervention to make them believe. I don't see that. I don't see that. I think we all genuinely have the ability to go, hey, I heard this message. I'm going to choose to believe. Doesn't mean you get the credit for the salvation or anything like that. God does. But you did choose to believe and take him at his word.
Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that and hit the bell so you can be notified of any future videos that come out. And check out AboveReproachMinistry.com. We have completely free Bible study courses, a 40-day program, a 27-day, and 11-day program, all kinds of free resources. You can get a copy of my book. You can join our online church. You can get some merch. We have a bunch of stuff at AboveReproachMinistry.com. And it's also linked in the description below. Go check that out. And thanks for watching.